I haven't taken a single note in a business meeting for weeks because Firefly's AI does it all for me. It's an AI note taker that automatically generates AI meeting notes, pulls out key insights, gives me a full AI meeting summary, and even gives me concise and accurate action items, all without me lifting a finger. It's compatible with the biggest video meeting apps such as Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, and more. You can also just record a meeting on a voice recorder app on your phone or even Apple Watch and upload it to Fireflies later where it does all the work for you. Plus, Fireflies will automatically send the meeting notes to my meeting guests and they've been really impressed. So in this video, I'll show you how this AI note-taking app and AI meeting assistant works and how it's saving me hours every week. This really is a great AI-powered automation for business to help you with your productivity. Okay, let's start off on the homepage, which you can get to easily. Just click the link below to get access to that. This video is not sponsored, but by clicking the affiliate link below, it does help the channel. So thanks in advance for that. I'll go over how Fireflies actually works inside a meeting later, but let's just go over the homepage first. So yes, the number one AI note taker for your meetings. And essentially this is what you'll get after the meeting's finished. You can see we get high quality meeting transcription and recording, and it's at 95% transcription accuracy, and I can vouch for that, it's very, very good. Transcribe in 100 languages. Then you also get speaker recognition, so depending on who's speaking, the note taker will actually recognize who it is, so later on in the transcription, you can see who's saying what. Coming down a bit further, and uh, you get an overview of each meeting, so um, in written format, and bullet points for actual notes, if you wanna get a real quick look at what's happening. And then action items I mentioned earlier, which tell you who's gonna do what based on what was in the meeting. And then custom notes as well. Coming down a bit further, the note taker bot will automatically come into your meetings or you can just invite it to meetings as you see fit. There's also a Chrome extension, which I'll go into later, which is a little bit more discreet. We've also got AI powered search for your meetings and you can even use the Ask Fred tool to have a bit of an AI chat within your meeting summaries. Down the track, you can have insights with conversation intelligence so you can get a breakdown of speaker talk time, AI filters to find things quickly, analysis of how people were feeling on the call and topic trackers. Essentially, you can have tasks from all your meetings centralized in one place, access to all your contact lists and a feed of all the meetings that are going on inside your business. And of course, you can connect Fireflies to any of your favorite CRMs such as Go High Level, HubSpot, Zoho, and more. You can then connect a whole bunch of AI apps to Fireflies to get more insights out of your information and data. Fireflies integrates seamlessly into your work tools, as mentioned before, your CRM, project management, your Slack, and more. Security is another feature for Fireflies in that you wanna protect your data and also your security. So all these compliances give you peace of mind. So again, to get started for free with Fireflies, click the link in the description below. It's an affiliate link, but yes, it does help the channel. Thank you again. And when you click get started with free, you'll get presented with this. So you'll either need to sign in with Google or Microsoft. You're gonna need to give Fireflies access to your calendar because it's a great feature where it scans your calendar and joins automatically into your meetings. Okay, here we are inside the dashboard of Fireflies. Once you've signed up, and I've got a few things blurred out here for privacy's sake. You've got your control panel on the left and I won't go through each of these just at the moment, but uh, you've got things like settings where you can tweak things to your preferences, a list of all your meetings that you've ever had and you can categorize them nice and easily and many other features there as well to go through. So we'll come back home. Up the top, we've got a search bar to find keywords, topics from previous meetings we've had. Up on the right, we've got our total storage and when that storage is used up, I'm pretty sure that the old meetings that you've got will, will be gone for good, but your most recent ones are kept and you know, 8,000 minutes is a lot of meetings there. So the big button here is add to live meeting. So if you find yourself in a meeting and for some reason Fireflies hasn't joined or you want it to join a meeting that you've created at the last minute, you can just simply click that button and Fireflies will come in. Now when Fireflies does come in, it comes in as the name Fred from Fireflies. We'll see that in a moment as well. We have some settings here. This is really important. So Fireflies note taker will come in and auto join calendar meetings. So that is any meeting with a web conference link. So a Zoom link, MS Teams link, a Zoom link. Um, I can set it for only meetings I own, meetings with teammates, or only when I specifically invite Fred at fireflies.ai. Now I mentioned earlier that Fireflies will automatically send out a meeting recap, which is absolutely great. My clients and colleagues are loving this. They're getting these AI notes sent to them without them having to take any notes themselves. I can choose for everyone on the invite to get that recap or only me or only people from my team. The next big section here, as you can see, we have two upcoming meetings. So essentially 
any meeting that's in my calendar, Fireflies is gonna recognize that that's a web conference link and add this to the upcoming meetings list. So it's gonna be defaulting to auto join. If I don't want it to join one of those meetings ahead of time, I can disable it. But in this case, I will leave it enabled. You can see the language it's set in and where the meeting is going to be hosted. So that's a bit of a tour of the homepage there. Now let's actually get in there and start a meeting. What we'll do now is we'll create a new meeting and see how it populates into the upcoming meeting automatically. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll come into a blank calendar. In fact, I might just go to today, um, select this, and I'm gonna start a meeting for an hour from here. We'll call it test meeting. And what I wanna do is add Google Meet video conferencing. So that'll generate a web link for that meeting. And then I wanna add a guest. So I might even add myself just a personal account there and click save, send that off to the meeting guests. And now when I come back to Fireflies, we should see that populate in the list here. And there we go, test meeting is now in there. All right, so I've just waited until the meeting start time happened because if I join the meeting before the time actually starts, Fireflies wouldn't join. So let's now click join with Google Meet. That'll start the meeting. I'll just turn the camera off for now and I am ready to join, so I shall join. And now um, you can see straight away that Firefly's AI note taker has asked to join us call. So that's exactly what I want. I will tap admit. So yes, admit. So now you can see that Fireflies is here. That's Fred from Fireflies. And I'll join from my other account here, make sure the microphone and camera is off and turn down the audio. All right, so now you can see a typical Google Meet meeting. Uh, this is the same for Zoom. You have your uh, participants and you can see straight away, here we are, Fireflies AI Note Taker by Tim Harris. Um, we have myself, Tim Harris Video and Tim Harris, my personal account. So. As soon as the meeting started, Fred from Fireflies will start taking notes. So Fireflies note taker is visible to not just me, but everyone in the meeting will be able to see Fireflies note taker. Now, one great thing is anytime that you send out this meeting invite and you have a Fireflies note taker already assigned to join that meeting as well, other participants that are gonna be joining this meeting will receive an email from Fireflies, just like this one here, where they're being informed that a note taker will be present. And if they decide they don't want that, there is a button there where you can opt out and make it so that note taker doesn't come in. Even so, when I, some people don't see that email and when I start a meeting with a client or colleague or even a friend, I will actually say to them, hey guys, just so you know, I have an AI note taker here taking notes of the meeting. Feel free to not take any notes because I'll be sending you the AI notes later on. And this is one of the things I really love about Fireflies is often in meetings, if I'm there and I need to take notes, I'm feeling pressure to take these important notes down and sometimes I lose the flow of a conversation or I'm trying to madly write notes and I'm not able to keep up with the speaker. So having this AI assistant doing the note taking for me takes the pressure right off me allows me to be fully present in the conversation and engage without having to worry about the pressure of taking notes. So I think it's beneficial for everyone. I'm sure you're the same with any time you're in an important meeting, you're trying to manually take notes down and just not quite being present in the call. I just think that's a really no brainer for me because things are heading in the automation direction and this is the classic use case for AI automations and AI productivity. So the way that Fireflies works is it essentially is just an audio recorder recording the whole content of the meeting and it then, it then goes away and transcribes and then uses AI summary techniques to come up with the summary, action items, bullet points, topics, and everything that I mentioned before in the intro screen to the web page. Another really cool feature that Fireflies just announced is having real-time live note-taking happening inside the meeting. So that feature that just got rolled out by Fireflies is now available. As far as I can tell, it's only available for Google Meet at this point, and to get it to work, you'll need to add the Fireflies Chrome extension, which I'll show you a little bit later on in the video. So stick around for that, for a little bit of a demo about how it looks when I'm using the Fireflies real-time note taker. But for now, you can see from this snippet from the Fireflies YouTube channel, this is how it works in real time. 
on the right hand side as the guy is speaking it's making notes in front of their very eyes and then he even goes on and says look if it's half the meeting's already been and maybe you've fallen asleep or had to nip out or need to remember something from the meeting you can click on the summary so far of the meeting to catch up on some bits that you've missed or forgotten so it's just another really great feature released by fireflies ai to really automate your workflow and keep you up to speed during a meeting if you maybe miss part of it already so if you are someone that comes into those meetings late make sure you check that out Okay, I think it's time to end this meeting. So all I need to do is end the meeting and kick everyone out of the call. Just checking on my phone. Yes, I have been kicked off that meeting. Great, so the meeting is over. Okay, so even though I'm out of that meeting, Fireflies is still in that meeting because the meeting was scheduled to be a little bit longer. But from the dashboard here, I can just click stop. Okay, so successfully ended the meeting and now it won't take long, maybe just a couple of minutes for Fireflies to do all of its backend work and then send out the meeting notes directly to these participants of the meeting and it will also just pop up in my dashboard here in just a moment. So I'll just pause for a moment until those meeting notes become available. Right, that took no time at all to summarize. So here we are back on the dashboard straight away in the feed. You can see a high level summary of what that meeting was a little bit about. So we have topics of introduction to Firefly's AI note taker. I talked about some benefits of AI note taking, talked about some of the Firefly's AI functionality and a little bit about the real time note taking feature, which we didn't get to see live, but will be coming later on. All right, so to get a little bit more insight into this meeting, we can just go along and click it. Now this is the main dashboard of a meeting. This is where you probably spend most of your time after a meeting's finished. So we have a few sections here. On the right hand side, we have the absolute full transcript of the meeting, complete with who was speaking and at what timestamp it was. And I can even just come down and also select. Some people don't see that email. And when I start a meeting with a client or colleague, that particular part of the meeting and replay what that person was talking about. So that's fantastic. In the middle, we have the summary of the meeting. And then on the left, we have some filters, things like tasks, dates and times, metrics, questions, sentiments, how people were feeling about the meeting. And then the speaker talk time. You can see I spoke a lot that time. My guest didn't say a word. I wonder why. So coming back into this middle part, we have the general overview section. This will summarize the meeting in its entirety. And then down the bottom, we have notes, so we had those headings that we saw before just in the dashboard and we've got particular summary bullet points on each of those sections. So if you find that you're in a meeting with multiple people, it's gone for an hour and in the meeting, say people have talked about action items for what people have to do next before the next meeting occurs. And in this section here, this is where you'll see action items as well. If you upgrade to the business plan, you can actually even get video recordings of the meetings, but also in Google Meet, I think you can get access to the video recordings as well. Coming back to the left-hand side and we can play with these filters to look at maybe some of the tasks that were conducted during the actual call or tasks that will happen later on. Um, and perhaps even some questions that were asked. Clicking the sentiment filter, you can see all the things that were neutral, positive things that came out, and then perhaps any negative things. So again, yeah, down the bottom, we've got the full recording of the call. We can come through and play any part of that, and we can see that the corresponding transcription comes up. We can play at different speeds, skip through, and we can even download that audio file. So all in all, it's a really great summary of the meeting. You can see why you never need to take notes again. Okay, opening up my personal email, and we can see that Fred from Fireflies has written to me. It says, Tim Harris Video invited Fireflies to your meeting. Here is the test meeting and the meeting recap, which we've just looked at. So as a guest, I might even just copy that link address. I'm gonna paste that into an incognito browser to show what it looks like when I'm not logged in. It pops up with this message here. If your meeting participants do want to review this conversation, they will need to sign up. It is 100% free to sign up. So there's no pressure on them to have to sign up and pay for an account to be able to access these notes. So that's just another thing you might like to say when they join the meeting. Hey, if you wanna access these notes, you will need to sign up later, but it is free to sign up. Or you might like to tell them, hey, sign up with my link below and I'll get a bonus as well. If they choose not to sign up, they can still come into the email here and see the high level meeting overview as a summary. And then there's another call to action to click that button to view the notes. Okay, one point on the Chrome extension. Now, inside the meeting for Google Meet, you'll see that Fred from Fireflies takes up a whole slot inside that meeting, as you could see. Now, if you install the Fireflies Chrome extension 
it will be a lot more discreet and won't take up that slot inside the meeting, which can sometimes be annoying to me or meeting guests come in and go, whoa, what's this thing here? So this Chrome extension won't have the same effect in any other meeting apps except for Google Meet. So to get to that Chrome extension, come up the top here and select install Chrome extension. You'll get sent over to the extension page and then just click add to Chrome You'll get these permission requests here that it can read and change all your data. This is very standard for something like this. So we'll click add extension, wait for that to install. You can see the AI meeting notes has been added to Chrome. Click this button to open up your extensions and then you can pin that to your toolbar there. So now when I click this, you can see it'll need me to log in with Google, which will take two seconds because I'm already logged in. I'll just blur out some of these other accounts. Continue with that. You can see we already have access and then click continue. After logging in, now when I click on that button, you can see that I can go to my meetings and it will give me a bit of a hot link here to all my upcoming meetings. There's also a few settings in here we can change nice and easily. We can auto capture or Google Meet meetings inside Chrome and we've even got a few other options here we can play around with. So now if I were to actually go and set up another meeting, I'll call it test two and Add this, what I'll do is I'll just adjust the time there to be for one minute's time so that it starts. So that's created. You'll find that now that I reload this, that should populate in there straight away. Yes, it has. And the meeting will start in just a moment. And this time, because I've got the extension installed, you'll find that inside the meeting, you won't have that spot taken up by Fred from Fireflies. Okay, I'm gonna join that. Cool, so I've got myself in the meeting, I have myself personal account in the meeting, and you can see that because I'm inside the Chrome extension app, Fireflies is working straight away to give summary notes of this meeting. Amazing. Now when we come to Ask Fred, if I were then to look at paragraph summary or meeting summary, even though this meeting's only been going for a few minutes, it will still summarize this transcript so far. You can see the transcript catches a brief segment. So if this meeting was longer, you would have seen that this actual summary would be much more concise and more relevant. Um, we've also got bullet point summary. There it is in bullet points. So Ask Fred is a really cool feature they've just rolled out, which is fantastic. To finish up, let's take a look at pricing. So as I mentioned, there is a free plan, which is free forever for individuals starting out. So that might be the people that join your meeting that do wanna check out the meeting notes afterwards. There is unlimited transcription, limited AI summaries, but because it was created from my account, my guests can go in there and view those meeting notes without it counting towards their AI summary quota. If you wanna to upgrade to a paid plan, we have Pro that is $10 a month if you buy annually. Um, and if we are just doing monthly, you're looking at $18. So there's a massive 40% discount for buying it annually. And this is actually the one that I got. As I said, I really believe in AI productivity and improving workflows and just taking notes during a meeting really seems like analog work to me. So, hey, get the AI to do it for us. And I think this is a completely reasonable fee to get the capability of what Fireflies offers. You can see we get unlimited transcription, unlimited AI summaries, 8,000 minutes of storage, plus you get bonuses like these as well. If you're really keen, you can upgrade to the business plan and that includes getting video recording done as part of the Fit Fireflies module. Again, this video was not sponsored. I do have an affiliate link below, so I'd love it if you click that one if you're considering joining up with Fireflies. It really helps the channel a lot. Watch this video next to see how easy it is to build an AI chatbot for your website to engage with your customers online and even generate more leads. Also, subscribe to the channel for more AI-powered automations for business and life. I'll see you in the next video.